till now we saw what are Turing machine is like we have a Turing machine that do some process we give a program or uh, for some logic it works out now we see what we will see what is that universal Turing machine a universal Turing machine is one uh, that runs the description of other Turing machine so this universal Turing machine is capable of simulating other Turing machine so when you give a Turing machine's description with the input if the machine goes to accepting state that your universal Turing machine will also accepts it okay so this is a universal one which has the capability of simulating other Turing machines inside it and uh, like the input given for the universal Turing machine is a binary encoded format of a Turing machine uh, I'll just give you a simple example of how to encode a Turing machine binary uh, binary encoding so this is the description of a, a Turing machine set of finite set of states finite set of input symbol a symbol that can be represented in a tape del is the transition function q0 is the starting state b is the blank representation and f is the final states okay so this is the description for a Turing machine now uh, we are going to describe a Turing machine we'll consider an example and I'll say you how to encode it in a binary format so let us consider an example like this here uh, q0 and qaccept are the set of states and the input symbols are 0 1 and the elements that are written in the tape is 0 1 blank and the transitions are given like this q0 is a starting state b is the representation that is used for a blank representation and we have q accept as the uh, accepting state that is your final state so this is an example of a Turing machine now we are going to convert this to an encoded format encoding is a very simple one I'll just say you what it is uh, and whenever the Turing machine enters into this accepting state on some input we are, we, the universal Turing machine has to accept it so the description here is very simple whereas like each and every uh, state is each and every element is represented in terms of number of bytes for example when I have set, set of states as q0 and q1 I represent q0 with a single one and q except with two ones okay and again 0 as a single one 1 as two ones so whatever element we have it over here that is 0 as a single one 1 as two ones and blank as three ones and whenever we write this transitions so we have to focus on it q0 q0 is given the value as 1 0 0 is given the value as 1 so this 0 is taken from the tape alphabet so it is better to give the input and the tape al alphabet like when you have a 0 in input and 0 in tape alphabet give the same value that will be easy for you to do okay if you change this order you will get confused of it anyway this 0 describes the element that is taken from the tape and again this q0 value is 1 0 tape element value is 1 and for left and right side mu give a diff when it is left side mu give the value as 1 and right side mu give the value as 2 ones so it is 2 ones okay so this is how it is described and to make this difference this one is your q0 and the next element is the next input so in order to make the description difference you use this 0 okay and again this 0 a single 0 represents the difference in each and every element in the element like when you have q when you have two or three element uh, two or three states that states are uh, distinguished with the single 0 and when you differentiate this states with that of input symbol use two zeros to represent it okay so when you have two zeros this is your first element that is your set of states and again when you use a single zero this is all the input symbols and two zero to separate this with the tape element so final description for a Turing machine is given as one zero one one when it is double zero this is your states and for input one zero one one so first input second input and only two inputs are there so that is separated so this is your input and next one is the tape element you have a 1 or 2 1 or a 3 1 ok so this is all a bit encoded 1 2 3 3 elements are there in your tape elements and that is separated with two zeros and now comes your transitions so whenever you write a transition it has 1 2 3 4 5 elements okay so each element over here are separated using a 0 so 1 0 1 the transition for this is 1 0 1 0 again 1 0 1 0 1 1 so this is your first transition see 1 and this is separated with the input with the 0 and this is separated with the input 0 here 
okay and description for this is 1 0 is 1 0 and the right side move we use two ones to represent it okay so this is your first transition and this is separated with a single zero with the second transition the reason is like this as a whole represent a transition and transition always contains the same number of elements okay so when these zeros are encountered it actually describes that this is the end of your first transition and we are going for the second transition again for writing the second transition q0 takes the value as single zero and one takes the value as two ones okay so it is one zero one one and it is separated with again a q naught a single one to represent it and again you have one two ones to represent it and the right side move right side move was represented using a two ones so this, this is a description for your second transition and again third transition q naught takes the value of one separated by blank symbol takes the rep representation of three ones separated by q accepting state takes the value of two ones separated by this one one takes the value of two ones and left side move takes one value so this is your next transition so we have three transitions as a whole that is described over here so with this the transition ends i use two zeros to represent it and next one is your starting state starting state is q naught so that is your one and that is separated by this blank representation we use three ones to represent this blank representation and finally we have a q accepting states so q accepting state is represented using two ones okay so when you have two zeros this is a delimiter for each and every element of a turing machine and when you have a single zero it is a delimiter to represents the finite set of elements inside a single place okay when it is state for finite set of streets we use a single zero for it okay so this is your del function and again this one represents this q naught and this is your blank and this is your q accept so this is a description binary encoded description of a turing machine and usually we use a representation of turing machine as m comma w okay so when you run a turing machine we have a machine description along with the input symbol so we have to describe both the input and the machine so we use a comma as a separator over here and we can write whatever is the input my if my input is one zero i use it a representation like this so this is your description of a turing machine i give it like this okay so this is called a binary encoding of a turing machine and this is used in a universal turing machine i again repeated a universal turing machine is one which can simulate the working of other turing machine which can uh, make other turing machine work inside itself when the uh, inside turing machine accepts the universal turing machine accepts the input okay thank you